What is up everybody, Alpha here. I'm going to do a review on a new episode of World Trigger, episode 21. Now, some of y'all might be asking me, like, um, why is this um, review kind of late up for the bit time? Well, if y'all don't really know, depending where your time zone is, I have a one hour ahead for my, um, for my, for my time zone, for where I'm at, like, um, due to daylight savings happening, like, around Sunday couple of days back so yeah um anyways this episode actually came out pretty nice i actually had my enjoyment out of it um it was a good time to relax after like doing a doing some studies here and there and anyways let's go okay at the beginning we see to it that the replica which is yuma kuga yuma's chaperone showing them some information about these worlds you know and about the neighbor's worlds i think two of them are mentioned but only but one of, but two of the worlds that are mentioned to me, there are only one way how I could describe them. One has six black triggers, the other has about 13, which is to my freaking shock right now. I'm like, whoa, that, that, that's pretty crazy stuff right there. No, no joke. And, and the only way how the neighbors, how, how the neighbors attack is, if, is that if they are very, very close to Earth. Like, the world trigger universe, you know, or our Earth, for example. And we see to it that after a couple, after a couple things here and there, such as the um, information of where one's gonna attack where, you know, etc., they decide to focus on two of these countries since they are like close by, you know. And we see to it that Chika has a little fun time and has a little talk with some girl named um, Natsumi Isuzu Isuho, and she is pretty funny and cute, you know. She was teasing her a bit, like I'm doing this noggin thing like to her head and but she but we see to it that she could get along with her which is really enjoyable to my to my to my excitement you know and you know as the as time goes on and goes by we see to it that things are just getting a little more intense and crazy you know and Kuga Yuma was was given an offer by one of the branches to like go into B, official rank B you know but Kuga Yuma declined it, saying that he rather do it like the the regular regular way than any other way, and that I really respect a lot because you know sometimes like um you gotta train or work hard to get yourself to that rank, you know, despite you having these mighty abilities, etc. Because you may never know, and that is how like um it should work out because or that's how the world should work because. That's how life is supposed to be about. You gotta build and rise by working hard to a certain level or to that certain rank, whatever you want to go to. And I really respect Kuga, Yu Kuga Yuma's decision to do that. And that is something that I really care for a lot. As for uh, Mik Mikumu, you know, he did have some assistance to go into rank B, but he's starting to prog progress slowly as a fighter, but as a character as well that goes with Chica you know <laughs> so yeah anyways as the episode progresses we see to it that Jin talks to so Soji the guy who actually hates the who actually hates neighbors very very badly me or Suji I mean he asks him a favor like hey if Mikumu gets in trouble can you help him out and Suji says why are you even asking me? And Jin says, because I know you do it. My side effect tells me to. And if you do, I'll recommend you to take Fujin as a as your black trigger. Because you might want to have the power. You might want to need a power up as fast as possible if you want to save. If you want to avenge your big sister. And I thought it was a little sister. No, no joke. I thought it was a little sister that Shuji had. But I guess it was a big sister. But he goes. Uh, he's pretty much saying like. Uh, you, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't gonna do your crack or your request. But Jin says, I know you're gonna do it because my side effect tells me to. And I'm thinking in my mind, enough with the side effect, man. It's like, you have this freaking ability to read precognition all the time, do you, man? It gets me envious, you know? And at the same time, uh, it, it's an advantage, but at the same time, it could... But at the same time, you could actually change that. Who knows? But we see to it that Kuga Yuma and Osamu has a little small time, has a little small time along with Chika, you know, talking to each other. And 
the ch rules in the border has changed. Like, you could use your trading trigger if you're rank C to either escape or to rescue someone. And that is respectable right there because sometimes, you know, like, um, you gotta do what you gotta do to actually help and help other people if they're defenseless or they don't even have power. I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. I'm pretty sure all you are, you, all of you would agree with me. And yeah. But, the thing is, the neighbor's attack is already on the run already, and I'm thinking in my mind, holy dang. Shoop, it's about to get down, it's about to get down in the next episode, and I'm actually excited for that, you know? And I really do am, and I really am gonna see, I'm really gonna see some crazy, crazy fights here and there. I'm actually having enjoyed, and I'm actually looking forward to the next episode, yeah. Now, when I was watching this episode, I was thinking in my mind, like, um, at the beginning, I really started, I really despised this series a lot, but later on, as it continued to grow in episode by episode, I think it kind of came out interesting for me. You know, like, um, I don't really know much about anime. I did, I did watch multiple back then, but I kind of, like, um, stopped for a bit to try to catch up my own, my own studies, but, you know, like, getting back into it, like, um, last year, like, around April or something, watching multiple, makes me understand a lot about what's going on, about what's going on in, in, of entertainment in the world, you know, so yeah, um, anyways, had a nice time with this episode, next episode, things are gonna, events is about to get down, and I'm looking forward to see how this goes, and I forgot to mention for Kuga Yuma, he's gonna use his black trigger, like, when the time is right, like, when danger approaches, he's literally gonna use it, <laughs> so I go ahead. Yeah, do what you gotta do, man. I mean, yeah. Anyways, had my enjoyment. Looking forward to the next episode. Um, my next review should be One Piece, hopefully. And hopefully it comes out today, because last week it did not come out, which is to my agitation and upsetness. No, no joke. So I'm just going to end it here. I'm out for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.